Okay, George. Um, let's see. So everything's hooked up. The battery's hooked up. Although that battery is fully charged, so I don't know if it's going to be able to charge it much, but it'll show up. Um, I got the steam hose on there. I would just, it's so close, I would just hard pipe it in. The steam hose for this is about $100, and I don't think it's worth it. Because you're going to have it in one position. You can just put a union on it like this, like that little union right there, half inch, and that's all you need to disconnect it. You just do it on your incoming pipe over here, right here, it comes in. Oh, well, the first thing I always do is, you know, oil points, um, the eccentric there, a little bit of oil on the crank, and on the slides, parts there, that, you know, slide back and forth, and um, any other place that needs oil. Uh, let's see, so one thing I've found with steam engines is in that position right there, they start by themselves. Uh, if you have it in a position other than that, it doesn't want to start on its own. You have to give it a little push just with your hand and just roll it. It's clockwise from this side. Um, and I've got 75 pounds of pressure, which is more than enough. Of course, you know about the blower and everything. When you put new wood in, that always helps. Have that on. Um, so I'll just turn on a little steam here. What I do is kind of warm up the cylinder, you know, a little bit. And I've got the petcock open. And see that water coming out? That's, you want to roll it over a little bit by hand. It'll run with the petcock open as well if I just. Close them. They're just running, just close them with a pair of pliers. The ball's a little spin. The alternator's working good. And of course, the Probably hear the exhaust going up the stack. Sounds really nice. And you can control the speed of it with the valve here. And these parts, I leave them a little bit loose. They just need to kind of float in there. Just gonna tighten them up a little bit. Notice it slowed down a little bit. Just let her float in there. You can oil the top of that if you want. I'll turn it off here. You can oil the top of it somewhat, I guess, too. I just put a little oil on there. It gets down into that area. And then to have it start on its own, you have the crank down about there. And it should start off on its own. Without rotating. without rotating the flywheel, but it doesn't matter. You'll get used to it. It really is nice. Let's see if I can get my voltmeter over here. Put that on it.
and I'll put the voltmeter on 20. See if I can do it with one hand here. That's your ground. Set it there. I, I don't know if it'll actually connect or not. Have it tighter, I guess, and I need two hands to do that. Anyway, I know it's putting out. It's just that this battery is full. Okay, now she's putting out. 1, 2. I don't have any more boilers. Uh, this is the last, well, antique engine. Well, I didn't build this engine, but it's my last antique engine. That's about it. 